Uh, Video Nomad says, Fusion 360 is a better option for precise CAD stuff. Yeah, if you want to do really, really precise uh, CAD data stuff, I have a playlist for that as well. There is a, on my channel, down here maybe, is a Fusion 360 Z quick start and this you can actually go back and forth between ZBrush and Fusion 360 so you can concept stuff out in ZBrush really quickly throw it in the Fusion 360 is like a 3D um, concept that just kind of sits there so I think it's number 12 working with imported objects you can mod if as long as you keep quads and ZBrush you can import it in the Fusion 360 and imp uh, convert it to a body or convert it to a uh, I forget what they call it. It's been a long time, but it, you can convert it to a type of mesh within, uh, like an organic mesh within uh, Fusion 360. Then you can convert that to a body, and you can do all those operations on it. Um, also, you can like do this kind of thing where I'm like concepting this little weirdo piece that I'm just kind of figuring out, and then you can bring that into Fusion 360 as kind of just a 3D concept. So this is converting quad meshes into a uh, body there, and then also. You can take your weirdo Dynamesh mesh in here and just bring it in, and then that you can use to set up your sketches and uh, make really, really precise versions of your ZBrush sketches. Uh, but as far as like measuring and stuff, yeah, CAD is hard to beat for accuracy. What workflow is used to create an object with dimensions of ZBrush if you wanted to create a gear with an inner radius of 10 inch and an outer radius of 30 inch? Whew, I'd use Fusion 360. If it's like something that needs to be printed and uh, is very needs to be very very precise i'd use fusion 360 just because man it, you can't beat cad or any cad program doesn't matter um or you could use you can do it in zbrush um let me let this operation finish uh, i also have like several hundred sub tools on this so it's going to take it a second to do this but um uh, yeah, anything with a very precise thing, and you're talking about tolerances and stuff, you, CAD programs are the way to go. You can always, you can go between ZBrush and CAD programs. I do it, and it's a little bit dated, but you can go to my Michael Pavlich playlist, and here there's a ZBrush Fusion 360 Quick Start. There it is, Fusion 360 Quick Start. That uh, video 12 in here has a... Um, going back and forth between imported objects and ZBrush and then ZBrush to Fusion 360 and using that as a sketch so you can go back and forth between them pretty easily in interesting ways. Uh, like I said, this video is pretty dated, but I think they're still relevant. Uh, but there is a Z plugin scale master in here where you can set your scene scale. There's also, I want to say there's like ring master or something. Maybe I don't have it downloaded, but if you go to the Pixelogic Download Center, they got all sorts of stuff for like... Yeah, there's Scale Master. Uh, Ring Master has very precise dimensions. People in the comments might have better answer. I don't, I'm not a super precise modeler, for better or for worse. Yeah, I kind of agree with Jonas. Uh, do it accurately, then import it, and then it use brush. Uh, Scale Master also, if you go to Z Plugin Scale Master, that'll kind of explain, if you click up here and you click this video, Joseph Dress will explain how on your geometry. Oof, let's close some of these down. On your geometry uh, size, you know, this value that has size is a 0.5, and then you go down here to export, your scale is at 89. Depending on what you import in the ZBrush, it'll do, it'll set those values to a specific number so that um, it works well within ZBrush, but then on export, you get your proper scale back. So 